All right, welcome back to Ballroom Feed and another Technique Tuesday. Today, we're going to be demonstrating what the common center is, a word referred to when we're dancing with our partner and how to keep dance position and better connect to our partner. So if you're having trouble with dance position or leading and following, this is a good video for you. Okay, so the common center is going to be this connection point in between two people, right? So basically, if we move ourselves away from it and towards it, this would stay put, not that necessarily. We would do that, but just as an example, we're not going to move it side to side. We're not gonna move it this way or this way. We're simply going to keep it where it is to the best of our ability, keeping a little bit of pressure if we're just practicing in this position, for example. Now we do have videos where we come towards and away just with our lower centers, kind of practicing this point. You could lower it down to keep it a little more comfortable for you. And you can play with this just practicing leading and following and things like that. But today we're just kind of demonstrating what it means and then we're gonna talk about this in the three points of connection now, which is gonna look a little different. So basically this point is nice and easy in our first point of connection, which is right here. We do have full videos on dance position, so please review those as well. So this is the very similar to this position that we had, right? So this is pretty easy. Of course, we have a connection point like this instead of like a high five, but same thing applies. We never wanna move it like this or this to lead and follow or here or here, which we'll talk about how to keep that. And now we have this point and this point to help maintain our common center. So what we can do here is this one's a little bit easier, but basically as a follower, I'll speak for the followers first, is I never wanna let my body kind of come forward, which means I never wanna let my elbow go behind me, which basically means I'm not keeping the comment center, I'm ignoring it, and I'm kinda just like letting him push me around and I'm not really following correctly. So basically, if he were to take a forward step here, I wanna maintain this position and move with him equally as much as possible. So by keeping a little tone here and energy in my own arm, this is gonna help me do that. So for example, what I mean is I don't wanna do this. If he takes another step, I do this. Even if I took a step back, you can see I totally collapsed this arm, spaghetti noodle, nothing happened there. So that being said, Chris, what are you doing to help uh, think about this? So we have different responsibilities as a leader and a follower in the dance itself, right? And of course, in terms of connection. So the responsibility of the leader is to establish what the connection is gonna be, and the follower's job is to give the minimal amount of energy necessary to keep the connection. So if I start to push my, not push myself, if I start to lean into this connection, her job is to give an equal amount of energy back to me, and we've established a heavier connection, which isn't necessarily a better thing or worse thing. And then if I move myself away, she's also gonna move herself away. So how I define this really, really easily for myself is let's say that Let's say there's 10 inches between my hand and my shoulder. There's also 10 inches between her hand and her shoulder. And the goal is that we remain and keep that distance the same, that if you measure her distance from her hand and mine, it should be the same. So if I move towards my hand, I'm hoping she'll move towards her hand too. And if I move away from it, so will she. So the distance between our common center remained the same the entire time. Whereas if I move towards it, but she doesn't respond to it, I'm closer to the side than she is. And if I were to move away and she didn't move away, then our common center is closer to her than it is to me. Common center being the exact middle point between our two bodies, right? So there's two different layers to this. The first layer is that establishing what our connection is going to be. So when I take her hand right away at the beginning, something I settle in and I establish a connection to her so she feels me and she gives me exactly the same amount of pressure and energy back to keep our hand in the middle. Whereas, like she said before, if she's a complete noodle, I start to give her a little bit of energy and she just kind of folds, then we have no connection to then go and start to dance, right? So we establish this base level of energy and connection, right? Now that we have this, now when I go to move and change weight, we dance and maintain this same level of energy so that the center stays in the middle the entire time. This is the most basic version of connection when it comes to leading and following. Even when he took the side step here, I want you to watch our hands. With the forward step first, when he goes to the side, you can see that this position did not move this way, okay? So that's one thing that we really wanna talk about, even if we're not even connected with our other two hands, just practicing as an exercise if we move back to the center here for you. We're just gonna practice keeping this position here 
That way I can still follow him to the side because his whole spine and his whole body and frame moved with him. So that's something that's really important in the beginning to understand that he doesn't need to go like this or do anything funny like, hey, come over here. All you have to do is keep this energy and connection towards one another and keep it consistent, connected throughout your whole body. And what I'm following as a follower is his spine, maintaining this common center position if we're in a dance position, for example. So without even getting all crazy with it, going in and out like this, that's a good way to find the connection. But then while you're dancing, you wanna actually do that as minimal as you can. You kinda wanna stay really connected and calm because a lot of this gets a little crazy, misinterprets leads and follows, especially if we're doing you know, things like turns and stuff like that at a basic level. Let's say we're, we're learning for a wedding dance or we're learning how to social dance and we're just trying to get basics together and make them solid and feel like we're on the same page. A lot of times we use a practice hold and one version of a practice hold is that we, uh, the leader puts out their forearms and the lady puts hers on top and the same thing here. So we're like elbow to elbow at this point. And we maintain this the entire time that we go do a box or a basic or whatever else. If she were to continue traveling backwards, this is a really good way for us to establish a really even common center because there's not much pliability at this point in time. It's really obvious if you were to do this or if she were to let that happen to herself is very, very clear. This is obvious to us that we just keep our elbows slightly in front of ourselves. And now we get to establish a really easy and clear common center. And moving around doing basics, this is a great way to do it. Obviously you can't lead patterns that lift up and do turns, but to establish basics, that's a great way to start. So at its most simple level, it's really just keeping your connection exactly where it is. Unless, like you said, you're breaking away from each other into a turn, for example, then one hand might lift, one other one would drop. But when you're in your dance position, really moving it as less as possible, moving everything as a unit is gonna be how you keep that common center throughout dancing how you keep those points of connection consistent and keeping the elbows in front of each other or in front of yourselves, for example, is gonna be the easiest way to keep this common center while we're moving back and forth in different positions, just as a rule of thumb, especially when you're just starting out. So I hope this helped you understand a little bit better of how to connect to your partner better, how to be a better leader and follower, and understanding maybe a little bit of what we mean by we say the common center, okay? Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out our website, bowandfree.com, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.